Welcome to uh, Tub Time with Temple tonight. I am uh, running a little bit behind. I had some, uh, you know, technical difficulties, basically. And uh, I finally got the tub filled, tone, uh, phone <laughs> charged, and uh, I dropped my beer in the tub, so I had to go get another one. So, uh, we're going to see how this uh, episode goes. Uh, follow me to the bath, and uh, join me. There's the bath. You can see uh, the ducks are already here. Oh, Jesus. Oh, yeah. Oh, my balls love me. My balls love me. Okay, so basically, uh, I asked a couple of you guys what you wanted me to talk about. Um, oh, also, before I start the show, um, I might want to tell you I got rid of the annoying strap so I can shake the phone, do this, and you don't hear that little cutting out <laughs> kind of bullshit you've been hearing. Yeah, that's the stupid little string that used to hang, like, right over here. Um, anyhow... I took that off for this episode tonight, so uh, let's see how if that makes a difference. So far, it seems to seems to be okay. Um, so uh, I'm in the tub now. I've got a fresh beer, which is good because I, I I like beer on this show. Um, I was asking about a couple of things to talk about. Um, one of them was my stan uh, uh, the stance on the State of the Union. Quite frankly, it sucks. The whole union needs redone, but I'm not going to go into that one because I did not watch the uh, Obama speech or whatever. I don't ever like to listen to that shit because I, I just don't like to hear him lie to me. I mean, you know, and that goes for any president, whether Republican, Democrat, you know, whatever. Uh, I just get sick of the bastards lying to us. Just get what they want, and uh, that's that. Um... Also, what was the other part of that? Something to do with Atlanta and snow. Uh, let me tell you this. I've lived down south, and I do know they do not have plows. And it's the funniest damn thing in the world if you're a northerner, and you happen to be down there to bear witness to this. Because they just don't know how to drive in the snow, and you know, rightfully so, they never get it. And they don't have snow removal, so, I mean, I'm not going to fault them. Uh, they never have to drive on slick conditions unless they're, you know, out mudding and doing their thing. And you don't normally see the big trucks with the, you know, with the mud tires on them, you know, spun out in a ditch, whatever. It's just the everyday drivers. So, you know, I feel bad that Atlanta got two inches, but at the same time, it's kind of cool for some of the Midwesterners that are uh, down there currently. Um, I would love to be down there removing snow for them, but uh, I'm stuck here, so... Anyhow, uh, as usual, I brought my two friends there, Bud Light and his uh, sister. Um, we're going to engage in them in some conversation here in a little bit. Um, let's see, what else? I believe, uh oh, sorry, I forgot my pillow. <laughs> there we go. And I think I got bubbles on my nose. <laughs> yeah, Jesus Christ, there's a lot of bubbles in here tonight. Um, <laughs> okay, so somebody, let's see. I brought up the State of the Union, brought up my stance on the snow, which I, I feel bad for the people, but it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, uh, not only because it's, you know, the snow, but, you know, north winds again, what? No, I'm just kidding. All my friends down south, I don't mean it. I'm just playing with you. Old Yankee just pulling your chain. I'm no longer a damn Yankee because I moved back, you know, but anyhow. Um, so, uh, music, music is fun. Uh, I don't know what mother, more to say about music. There's so many different types, genres, um, countries in mind right now, because we were just talking about the South, and, uh, you know, there's a lot of country music down there, but, uh, there's a lot of bluegrass, a lot of good, uh, down in Louisiana, there's some Creole music, oh my god, if y'all ain't checked it out, there's some, there's some true soul in that shit, I'm telling you what, um, more music, uh, there's, music is life, I'm sorry. It helps people breathe, cope with emotion, uh, you know, get over girlfriends, uh, death, whatever. Brings you, you know the great thing about music is you'll hear a song, and uh, you know Donald's kid keeps peeing. I'm trying to ignore him to see if he make a quit, but it's it's not working because he just you know he, he likes to re refurbish the bubbles. But anyhow, um, basically, music will take you back to any place in time, wherever you were when you first heard a song. Whether you're looking at the prettiest girl in the world, which is my wife. Eh? See? I, see what I did there? <laughs> um, anyhow. Or, you know, wherever you're at. It, it's a good moment in time it'll bring you back to. If there's a bad moment in time it'll bring you back to. And all you have to do is hear the same song. And it just takes you back like you were there right in that instant. 
that's one of the beautiful things about music. That's why it transcribes uh, so many different things like race, religion, uh, age. You know, it, it, it just, it, it, it just, it ascends all borders. It, it, it's pretty awesome. I love music. Without music, I would rather be dead. Um, that duck is just boring me. <laughs> Wish you could see it. Wait, here, I'll throw it again. This is what it looked like from my view. <laughs> yeah, I'm in a good mood tonight. I'm not like shit face, but I'm just in a good mood. Um, oh, and uh, another friend of mine wanted to know my uh, stance on uh, unicorn marriages. And, you know, quite frankly, I don't know where I sit on that. Because, I mean, I'm an equal opportunist by all means, you know. But unicorns, they're, they, they, they all get, you know, special treatment because they're a unicorn. I mean, seriously. If I had a, a you know, a horn growing out of my head and looked something like this without, you know... <laughs> Oh, shit running down my face. Ah, I would be treated specially. And, uh, you know, but on the other side of that, I mean, we could totally tax them and it's less I gotta pay. So, yeah, I'm gonna say unicorn marriages, they should be, they should be, they should be all be treated equally. Um, but what about leprechaun and unicorn, you know, marriages? Should that be allowed? I mean, because I know unicorns like luck, lucky charms, you know? Uh, that's what I hear at least, uh, you know, the only time you see a leprechaun is when he's stealing my pot of gold and he's dressed like Uncle Sam. <laughs> Man, I got bubbles in my eye. I'm going to tell you, if you're ever drunk in the bathtub and you get bubbles in your eye, it kind of hurts, even if you're really drunk. So, uh, she'll probably be red tomorrow, but who knows? Um, Let's see, what else? State of the Union, Unicorn, Snow in Atlanta, music. Oh, I want to give some shout outs. Uh, Good friend of mine, mine, Brian, you know, he's giving me some good ideas. I could not do the product review tonight, uh, Brian, because I did not, I couldn't find a toaster. Uh, and, and if I destroyed the one in the uh, kitchen, the wife wouldn't be able to get her toast in the morning. And by God, I, I, you don't want to see that one when she'll get her toast in the morning. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Oh, shit, I just snorted. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, that was <laughs> Okay. <clears throat> We're good. <laughs> Uh, good thing you people know I'm drunk. Hopefully you're drunk while you're watching this. Anyhow, I don't want to take too much more time. Um, I, uh, fuck, what was I going to do? I'm going to do something. I know, uh, oh, I'm going to check the time, see how, how long we're going here. Oh, shit, we're already at eight minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this beer in honor to, of it, which I dropped in the tub earlier, but it had the cap on. So, you know, it's just, uh, whatever. Hold on real quick. Yeah, beer killed. Uh, gotta give a shout out to Brian Dunn, check. Shout out to Scott, good ideas. Um, love the music idea. We need jam, by the way, motherfucker. Uh, shout out to Val for all the aw I awesome ideas with the props and good stuff. Um, shout out to whoever's fucking watching, because as long as you guys keep watching, I'm gonna keep doing this shit. If you guys are having fun, I'm having fun. So, I will, uh, oh. God damn it. Ah, bubbles in the ear. Not a good way to end the show. But, uh, till then, keep watching. Do you have any more suggestions? Oh, Jesus Christ. You know what? All right, we're just sitting up. Do you have any more suggestions uh, about topics you wish to have covered? Please leave them in the comments. Um, I've been trying to access those from my phone, and it's not been working lately, so... <coughs> oh, please have patience. We will get there. Next show, if I do it tomorrow and the wife is home, I'm hoping to get some music in the background. It might be kind of cool. I don't know. Oh, um, I feel like I'm a burpian. But anyhow, I'm going to leave you guys on this. Bubbles rock. You should wear bubbles. Look at this. I can be like Abe Lincoln. Aha. See? Bubbles. Bubble face. You could just call me Bubble Face. That works. Ha! That worked better than that stupid kid's toy. Ha ha ha! Alright, YouTubers, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.